Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and there are other privacy settings that you might want to look at when you get to a new Windows version. Sometimes there are new features or new options available also at the same time. Let's go into the Settings app. Let's go into Privacy and Security on the left side of the screen and go into Diagnostics and Feedback. This has its own set of things that you might want or off. Um, and so here's the thing. The diagnostics data, first of all. Uh, now, you can't turn it off. Now, I know some people will always come back and say, well, you know, I've done a registry hack or this or that or a group policy. But here we're in the realm of regular folks, for the most part, that don't really know what how to do things like that. So we'll keep it simple. Diagnostics data is meant to help Microsoft look at, you know, if you have problems with your PC, if something is wrong, if something is happening, it can actually look at the data, have enough data to see if, you know, other people have the same problem and they are able to maybe find a fix or maybe prevent an update from going because they see that people seem to have a problem with it. So it's really there to help and improve uh, Windows overall. Um, and make sure that it's more stable and that the experience is better. Um, also, you know, seeing the apps that you use and don't use so they know which apps are unused and people don't like and so on. So they get a lot of information in there. You've got two options here. One is uh, you're like if, if the button is at off in that section, it means you're sending just the required diagnostics data, which is a limited set of information about the operating system and uh, making sure that it works right and there's no problems. That's it. If you turn it on, then you start sending optional diagnostics data. And this means you're sending a lot more information, including websites you browse. And I mean, that's big, big, big snooping big time. So uh, the recommendation, of course, is to keep this off for the most part. Um, I not sure if it's off or on by default, but um, maybe keeping it off is not a bad idea. Then you have, of course, all the other data, like improved inking and typing. If you're doing things like that, it can uh, analyze the way you use your PC and make this better by sharing um, your inking and typing data with Microsoft. The um, other one is tailored experiences. Um, it uses diagnostics data to give you personalized tips, ads, and recommendations. Of course, keep that off. You can view your diagnostics data if you want uh, and turn this on. You will actually uh, have a data viewer and you will have a file. And it tells you the file could be of one gigabyte size. It, in that file will contain every single thing that Microsoft has about your PC in their own uh, cloud. And um, you are able to see that data. So, uh, you know, they're not hiding it from the world and they're letting you see it. And the last but not least is delete diagnostics data. What this gives you as an option is that you can delete what is um, all the information that's in the cloud at Microsoft about your PC. Of course, that doesn't mean that it's, you know, it's going to continue recording because you're still sending data. But you can do a regular delete data after you know, a certain amount of days or weeks and make sure that the amount of data is as low as possible. That is possible. You can also go to the privacy dashboard. Microsoft has a privacy dashboard. And that privacy dashboard gives you all the details, even more about what is known about your computer and so on. So you can go and check it out. Microsoft does show you everything that they have about your PC. And uh, finally, there's the feedback frequency, which is um, sometimes a pop-up can appear and say, do you like this app? Do you use it? you want to give us a little details? Um, take a few seconds or a few minutes to give us details about, you know, what you like, don't like, and so on. So you can have it automatic always once a day, once a week, or just say never and never get feedback to give away. 
to Microsoft and a pop-up will not show. So these are the options available to you and the diagnostics and feedback. If you are enjoying my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.